So I know that this is not a great, a perfect video um, to give you a great perspective, but hopefully with everything that I do while I'm under this place or me and Paul under this place, give you a good idea how you can go back and fix your own. This is only one way of many. Um, this is uh, actually, I'm going to credit Paul for this. This is what he came up with and he thinks it's a good idea. And I actually think it's a good idea too. So make sure you hit that subscribe uh, before the end of this video and the bell notification so you're notified because we don't want you to miss the next video that's coming after this. It's real tight under there. So stick with me guys. It's not easy, but you got to give us at least credit for being under there, um, doing what we're doing. And uh, yeah, we're doing this for you. All right, so so far we got a good amount of the plastic out. I'm not going to be going under there myself until Monday morning. We wanted to get the plastic out. We still have a bunch of insulation we have to remove under there. But I've got Paul going. Tight, man. It is tight under here, Paul. I can't pull it from there. It's, it's over here. It's already here. You got it here. It's going around a cable. Okay, that cut me. Cut me. Is that cable going to ground? Yep. Give me a knife. Huh? I left my knife outside. Huh? <coughs> I left my knife outside. Okay. Alright, so we got a the best light I could find. Small but yet bright is a Kind of an LED light. Anyway, it's small and it fit. We are covering the bottom back. We tore it out the other day. What's that, buddy? Okay. Okay. Well, somebody came up under here because we're going to fix this underbelly too. Look at this. Do you recognize that? What's that look like to you? Before I tell you what it is. Can you guess? That's somebody put that underneath over the top of the existing underbelly. And if you look real close, you probably recognize what it is. We're gonna tear it all out. Have you guessed yet? <laughs> it's underpinning. It belongs on the outside, and this is probably what they had on this place before they put the concrete blocking in here. Paul, that's what they had. That, that's their underpinning, the old underpinning, before they put the block in. Yeah. They put it under here. They noticed that the underbelly was so tore up. They didn't know what to do. This house has two by four floor joists running lengthways, Paul. Yep. Wow. Lengthways, not crossways, lengthways. Now look in closer. Huh? Look at closer. From here? What am I looking at? Oh, 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 oh well, yeah, that's that piece I seen running down the middle. I don't know what they did. Yeah, what's that one to your right for? This? Yeah, what's that all about? I don't know. But it's running all the way down. I've never seen that before. On both sides. Wait a minute, it stops right there, Paul. Really? Yeah. It stops right there. Don't ask me. I think they put it up there to hold up that. Hold it wide. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, you need to it together. You screw it on everything else. Anyway, it's a mess. We got to... They screwed it up with quarter bits. Yeah, we're going to fix it. All over the place. Yeah, we're going to take this. We're going to take it in Yeah, that's what we got to take down and redo. Yeah. See how that underbelly is breathing? See the material it's made out of? That's why I'm telling you we can't use that plastic that we have. It's a breathable material there. That's old stuff, right? Hmm. I have to go find out where they get that stuff. We got to take all this crap out and uh, figure out what's going on with the underbelly and re re repair it. It's tight too. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah, we're laying on the back. Laying on the belly. Oh, absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Breathable. I have to get some tie back. No, we'll have to find, see, I think we can find that stuff right there. Yeah, I think so. Climbing out. 
So as soon as I get past this big AC pipe, it's laying on the ground. <laughs> yeah, we got to go finish that piece of it. Yeah. I don't know about that, Paul. Yeah. You have to. Huh? Have to. Yeah. yeah. That thing should not be laying on the ground. No. That's why I said we got to go finish that. Yeah. That's why we have to get one. Piece. This this plastic too has to go underneath yeah, it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just the plastic. Yeah. Anyway, it's tight down here, super tight. Got Paul in here with me. Um, we're going down. I'm going down to buy some of this underbelly. You buy this stuff at a mobile home supply store near you. It comes 16 feet by 80 feet long. And in this situation, we'll be repairing what we have down here where they come through with a new HVAC line. Um, we'll go ahead and repair all around that. So no tape it up, you know. critters, you know, tape it up and whatnot. But then we got... We're gonna move ourselves to the right, but most importantly, right now, what we're trying to get done is the, the plastic down on the ground, which is a vapor barrier from the ground to the the mobile home. Um, some people have different opinions on vapor barriers on the ground, whether they should be there or not. <coughs> um, I'm really left either way, but if you do have a vapor barrier on the ground, that's what you're gonna end up with. Is uh, underneath that vapor barrier will always be wet. Yeah. Um, so for me, I think that creates a condensation area. Whereas if the vapor barrier on the ground wasn't there, I believe it would dry out, especially since they have all these vents that are every eight feet around this whole foundation. So for me, I wouldn't put it on the ground, but a customer wants it down here on the ground. If anybody ever has to get under here, it makes it a little more convenient to, you know, crawl on uh, plastic as opposed to the ground. But I'm not gonna say that it's the, the best thing you can do. What do you see right there? What are you having on? Just try. Right there. On the left side of that pipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just try. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It is dry as a bone right over there. And there was not any vapor barrier in this area right here. Yeah. Even right here, Paul. Yeah. Because it wasn't on this dry. As soon as you run into where you can start seeing it, change the color. Yeah. Wherever there was vapor barrier, it's a little darker color than it is. I like care where it's dry. So without the vapor barrier, you're going to have sand, which I would probably prefer under my house as opposed to moisture because this is the vapor barrier that you need for your house itself i don't feel like the ground needs it but but then again a lot of people encapsulate their mobile homes or houses so i'm not sure how all that works but we're going to do our best it's basically like i said from the other side of that pipe but for today our project is to um just get the Vapor barrier on the ground, like the customer is suggesting. Since it was already there, she wants to put it back. Doesn't want to go without. She's heard both ways and wants to go with the vapor barrier. So we're going to put it in here. Anyways, let me get out of here because it's. What do you think, Paul? Oh, water right there, huh? Is that water up there? Yeah. yeah. Water right there. Yeah. On the bottom side of the vapor barrier. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to see. I'll see his wet. I'll see his wet. He's got some kind of leak right there. That's inside the house. Yeah. 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 There's a bathroom down there somewhere because there's a pipe that goes through the floor. Yeah. Yeah. What's over here? Yeah, I don't know. Sink. A hole been put right here for some reason at one time. I'm not sure if it's been, see that right there? No, that's not a hole. He's got stuff once. Yeah, it's very small here. 
Okay. Okay. Somebody's just dragging on, dragging their back on. Okay. Okay. No, not a hole. Okay. Nope. Anyway, somebody's been on here and patched it here and there. Looks like they use the same. Oh, that's glue. That's just tape. I'm glad that it looks so good back here, though. At least the worst part is down there. But we still got a. The underbelly on the outside looks good down here. That's beautiful. Thank you, Lord. So, <coughs> We'll go get a roll. I'll go get a roll of it tomorrow. And we'll start putting it back together. Yep. Definitely want to fix stuff like this. See, that's the hole where they were going through. Yep. Right there. You can see it where they were getting in. Oh, yeah. Good thing is the insulation is still there on the underbelly. It's right. all there. Right. And it's dry. You can't start cutting underbelly just taking it out random. No. No, we tape all that stuff up real good. Yeah, tape it. Nothing get in there anymore. They, they use that spray. Did they? Yeah. They use this spray. That's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's still don't, don't, sticking. Yeah, don't just pull yeah, it loose anymore. And they used underbelly, though. They did use a piece of underbelly as a pair. Yeah, but it's still sticky. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Let me get out of here. Yeah. I got tar on. <laughs> I got you on this one. That's wet. Can I see? Can I see? Can I see? They had none of it on either. No wild vapor is dry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see what goes dry right there. Yeah. Dry. Yeah. Yeah. So that that tells you right there, in my opinion, vapor barrier is probably not a good idea on yeah. the ground. Yeah. But I know that pipe laying on the ground ain't good either. No, that's why I left that piece of plastic. That's like in moisture. I mean, not get moisture under it. Yeah, that's, why, that's why I left that piece of plastic up underneath it. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting out of here, man. It's too tight for me. <laughs> Jamie Love is calling me on the other way. So yeah, you're gonna run into um, very difficult situations under a mobile home. It's gonna be very super tight. I'm on my stomach. First thing we did was um, flea spray because fleas were like crazy under here. We wanna get rid of the fleas. It crawled all over us the first day when we were pulling it out. Mostly Paul, I should say. Yeah, I mean, this is ground to there. About 10 inches. About 10 inches. Um, see, last time I got under it, kind of pulled my way through. Just in case you want to see my situation. <laughs> and so this job is not going to be an easy one to, to record in because I'm literally on my belly now. So if you don't get a lot of video, sorry guys. I'm gonna do my best. But this is the worst part. They put up exterior underpinning when they took it out and put the block in up underneath the underbelly where the animals had made a bunch of holes through it. So this is basically the part that needs to be fixed the most. All that stuff removed and um, underbelly repaired properly. So I'm going to get a 16 by 80 piece tomorrow. So anyway, I'll do the best I can to show you guys what we're doing, but just know if you get under your mobile home, this might be your your same situation, but we're gonna do our best to give you an idea of what it takes to fix something like this. And the best thing you can do, probably if you're gonna be crawling around on a wet ground, would be to put something down on the ground. And yes, I know I don't have, a, I have my face mask on. I didn't plan on going under there. Paul was like, come bring me something. Man, do I have to? Paul doesn't have a face mask on. He says he can't breathe when he puts one on. I think he'll pay for it later, but he's an old man anyway. Hey, Paul, I got fleas on me, dude. Apparently, he took the old original skirting, put up block, and used the skirting for underpinning. What, Paul? Yes, sir. Flashlight coming up. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to have to be insulated through there. For sure. All the way across. Yeah. I mean. So I'm saying all these rips and stuff he's got? Yes. Be better off just insulating it down at the bottom, dude. Yeah, just putting out one, out one before in here, insulating from the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Well, we're probably going to have to cut that area out anyway, Paul, because, you know, there's stuff up in there, so if we're going to replace it all through there anyway. Yeah. Now, this is what humans be. Mm -hmm. animals are That's from people cutting it up open? Yeah, yeah cutting it up and everything. Plumbing and everything else. That's all they did, they cut it up. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Well... I can see where it needs it re insulating down there. Yeah. Yeah, right past the pipe right there, too. Yeah. I wish they'd do these things differently. Yeah. Like insulate the floor joists. I gotta, I gotta do seven bays. Huh? I gotta get seven bays, not six. Seven bays? Yeah. Seven yeah, times eight. I get out of that one. Seven cool. times eight. Yeah. How about getting past these here, Paul? These little brackets. No, nah, I'm my felt on my shop on this side. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna put it over here. I don't think my paper's gonna do go around it. You, you, you're, uh, aren't you gonna be down here and below it? Nope. I'm gonna be on top of it. Everything is above, above it. Yep. yep. I don't think it's gonna be below it. It's my yeah. block. Okay. And the one before it ties and it ties mm -hmm. together. Yep. Paul's got some ideas, so we're gonna um, get all this other stuff pulled out of here. How that, thing, that piece is big, man. How'd they get it in here? Same piece, same yeah. size, same size you just took up. What is it, joined right there? Up right here. Two pieces, okay. Yep. All right, it is tight on here, guys, and no, we don't have a mask on. I know everybody's gonna complain about that, but um, we noticed we did this a little bit tight even for a stinking mask. Good luck. Mm -hmm. oh, Paul? All right, I can't breathe. Oh, okay. Can't breathe. Oh, Paul definitely can't breathe when he's got a mask on for some reason. Oh, boy. Yep. This is a... Uh, so it's not going to be pleasant working under your mobile home. It's not going to be pleasant, but this is some things that need to be done. Um, they were having issues with their underpinning, the original stuff they had. And uh, that's the reason why they had this thing all blocked up and taken care of because it was getting problems like this. And they had a porch addition added out front, so they went around that addition out there. So that's about the time they decided to go ahead and get this underpinning done. And they, they used some of their old underpinning I'm guessing whoever did the block work did this, but they used some of their old underpinning um, to hold up the uh, underbelly with all the holes in it. They didn't fix it, that's for sure. We're gonna try something different. We're definitely gonna try something different. Right now, Paul's removing the panels. That, there's somebody that put up there that we need to see what's up there. So. Get this out of that way. In order to find out what's up there and figure out what we have to fix, this all has to has to go. And this is what you call a cover up. Yeah. So somebody did a cover up, and we don't know what's under the cover up yet. But we're gonna try to remove it and find out. There we go. We'll take it out piece at a time. It's uh. Nobody said it's gonna be an easy project. Um. Anything that's worth doing, and this is fixing your underbelly and repairing your mobile home and keeping it in good shape is definitely worth it because if you don't do it, um, yeah. if you don't do it, you'll end up trying to, look at that, find another house and you don't want to do that. They just stuffed some insulation up there, didn't they? Yeah. Covered it with that. All right, coming out. I probably need to open me a big old piece of plastic out here because when we pull stuff out, it's going to end up making a stinking mess. So, all right, guys, keep on keeping on. What's it look like now, Paul? Uh, I my idea is going to work real good. Huh? My idea is going to work You like your good. idea, don't you? Yeah. Oh, man, it's just wide open, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. Can I take this here and pile this up up my way? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. I got my inspection down here. Yes, we, we probably got to get some more of that. We're going to end up cutting up some of this out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot more of this out of here. This is a mess. Yeah. I mean, they were in there for a while, weren't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm thinking about cutting this whole bay. Seven bays out. Oh, oh I agree. You got to get rid of it. Reinsulate the whole thing yeah. like it should be. Cover up them pipes over there, too. It got to be inside the underbelly. That's the purpose of them white pipes. 
pipes. Over your face, right there, yeah, the white. Yeah. The yeah. white plumbing pipes. You gotta yeah, they gotta be in keep them in the underbelly. Yeah. No, there ain't no problem with that. <coughs> we'll put the door 19 down here. We'll be real good. Oh, yeah. R19. Seven bays, huh? Yep. Yeah. R19. We gotta figure out how much that is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got eight foot wide. Yep. Which eight, is eight pieces foot are eight foot, foot long, so yeah. as we put it together, eight foot, eight foot, right? Yeah. I mean, we'll probably get the ones that have already been cut. Four of them. Four of them each bay. Yeah. Four pieces. Yeah. Okay. Eight come in a bay in a row. Yeah, I'm not even sure. We'll figure it out. But anyway, we got to re insulate all this right here. This is what we found under their, uh, whoever came in here and did this. And it wasn't insulated, so I wonder who did it. I don't know. I wonder if they charged them money, if they just did yeah, it for they free. Them a lot of money. I wonder if they did it for free. No, 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 no. Gosh, Paul. No. How can no. I? How I mean, can if I, I did that? a job like this, it would have to be free. I was Afro engineering. Yeah. Look, know who you're hiring. You know what they're gonna do. Make them show you something. So we're gonna show them something. We're gonna make this happen. It might not be the traditional underbelly because we're having to replace it. We're gonna show you how you can replace your underbelly. With new underbelly. With new underbelly, and we are gonna have the exact stuff that's coming out. Um, and you'll be just down a little bit lower, but you'll still be able to insulate to keep you know, the, the flooring insulated. And Mobile homes do not have insulation in the floor joist like a house does. It's in the, it's just lays in the underbelly. So we're gonna repeat the same thing with our insulation, laying in the underbelly, but we're gonna make it a lot neater and cooler down through here something that you'll be able to copy and replicate on your house if you ever have to if you ever have to work on it you take it apart yeah if you do have to work on it down the road later on you you can you will be able to take it apart so i know you can't see a whole lot i'm not really giving you anything really good but all that right there is going to be cut cut out of here the insulation is garbage there's been animals on it yeah so um yeah we're just going to get rid of it and replace it so stick around if that's the kind of thing you want to see because that's the kind of video we're going to be making a little tight we will do our best to give you some kind of an idea of what to do today we're um taking some stuff out of here we, we, we brought our rake too didn't we paul yep yeah we bought a fan rake fan rake because we're gonna have to pull some stuff out you're gonna cut you know, take your knife and cut that stuff back a little bit anyway you know yeah, that's where why, you can that's why i need a knife where you can pull the garbage out. So that's our process today, pulling out the garbage in seven bays. We're just holding it up with anything, huh? Huh? Yeah, we're just holding it up with anything. Wow, look at that. One bias, two bias. Dadgummit. That's flooring stuff. Flooring board. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to replace the floor with that, too. Isn't that something? I got parking board chips. Everything. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. All right. Pulling out. Yep, is a mess under there, Paul. That's all right. We'll get it. One bay at a time. One bay at a time, buddy. That light sure does make it look nice and pretty in here. Really? 
Yep. So old insulation in the old underbelly, which was here and then kind of kind of keep, floated keep down, down. Keep, keep floated down below the floor down there. Um, somebody's been here and done some insulation of the floor, so they probably pulled it out and thought they needed to add some insulation. Okay. There's been some crazy stuff going on down through here. They had that plastic under skirting, and they literally made these things here so they could attach their skirting to. Um, but now that we ripped all that stuff out, we're going to come with a new underbelly. We're going to go right on top of these steel I beams, or not even I beams, but beams, and uh, enclose that whole area right there, um, including all these pipes. All these. We're going to pull up. We're going to pull that vapor barrier up and enclose that um, pipe. Yes, all the way to the side there, all the way to the outside. That that'll work really nice. Yep. yep. Um, Close that thing in tight. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Put any switch on top of it. Yep. <coughs> yeah, close that all off. We got five rolls of insulation. It's probably gonna take. It's gonna take quite a bit. We're going all the way down through here. Let me see if I can get some light going on. Yeah, we got light. Yeah. So all these pipes. And this is that old crappy piping right there. Yeah. yeah. Old crap stuff. Yeah, all that's gonna be underneath. Uh, insulation gonna be underneath. Yeah. There. Oh yeah, it's gonna be up inside of the uh, encapsulated. All the pipes will be encapsulated into the new underbelly. And we did find a new roller underbelly at our local mobile home supply store. I'll be picking that up tomorrow. Um, and we'll go back with the same thing. It has a good breathable material, and you definitely want to have it for sure. So uh, stick around. It's really super tight. I mean, even to the even to the point tight where I am literally laying laying down here. Paul's uh, laying down. It's not an easy job. Um, Are we going to do it? We're going to do it. If you have to do the same thing. Stick around. We'll hopefully get some some videos of, of just the best we can anyway of show you what we did under this thing. So stick around, subscribe, and uh, hit me a like button for just sharing this video, period. Anybody that gets under a mobile home deserves a like. We still have some fleas under here after even bombing twice with this stuff. So we're going to bomb the third time. Uh, and we went and got some concentrated heavy duty bug infestation stuff. So we wanted to really get rid of these things once and for all. Um, as soon as Paul comes out, I'm going to close all the vents. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. We're out of here until Wednesday. We'll be back Wednesday. So I'm going to make a quick video of what we did today. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you notify the next video we're putting out because the next one should have something to do with us trying to figure out okay with you um how we're going to put this new underbelly under this this uh single wide mobile home so stick around and we'll see you guys on the next one what's next drew's roofing and mobile home repair